right friends welcome back to this discussion on comprehension and vocabulary and today we are going to deliberate on globalization's new spokesman and on friday we are going to deliberate on this rti act editorial on rti act letter and spirit this appeared in business line yesterday and today's topic is globalization's new spokesman and this is the editorial which appeared in the hindu yesterday and here i will tell you the crux of the matter now for the first time chinese president attended this world economic forums davos summit every year davos summit takes place and for the first time chinese president attended that summit that is one aspect second aspect is he talked about globalization and nowadays western countries are talking about protectionism and as western countries are talking about protectionism now he has taken the mantle of speaking about globalization speaking the good effects of globalization so previously it was thought to be the domain of western countries to talk in favor of globalization but now things changed and chinese president talked about globalization and after several years now china has taken up for the globalization publicly speaking about and for globalization this is all about this article so in a nutshell when the western countries are talking about protectionism now china is talking about globalization and xi xi jinping's address at the plen plenary of this world economic forum assumed a lot of significance that is all about this article and as usual please let us go ahead this globalization liberalization i told you last yesterday also globalization is basically removal of the controls removal of the barriers and opening up more and more sectors for global competition that is the process of liberalization when liberalization takes place more and more globalization will take place more and more that means when the barriers are removed it will lead to more and more globalization and now the world is talking about constructing this wall once again this wall is going away gradually but now people are talking about barriers which is nothing but protectionism or protectionistic tendencies so with the liberalization globalization has taken roots now people are coming back again for constructing wall right so this is all about this globalization and protectionism globalization's new spokesman the meaning of globalization's new spokesman is china never taken up the mantle of speaking for globalization because of globalization china immensely benefited no doubt about it but so far china has not taken up the mantle of speaking for globalization and for the first time chinese president spoke about globalization that's why this heading globalization's new spokesman previously it has not spoken now only it started speaking about it that's why new spokesman is the heading president xi jinping's message to the world economic forum he attended it in davos was timely was timely talking in the past sense and perhaps visionary as well in this time of extraordinary global uncertainty i told you this morning when i discussed newspaper editorial uncertainty uncertainty became the buzzword nowadays and the zinping xi zinping's message to the world economic forum and this perhaps visionary as well the message is not only visionary and this is assumed a lot of significance in this time of extraordinary global uncertainty so here the message of this uh, paragraph is xi jinping's address to the world economic forum is perhaps visionary as well in this time of extraordinary global uncertainty it assumed a lot of significance because of uncertainty under normal times it could not have been elevated to this much but these are the days of uncertainty that's why it assumed a lot of significance visionary 
all of you are familiar with the word visionary the ability to imagine how something will develop in future if a person has got uh, the ability to imagine how things will transform in future he is called visionary apj abdul kalam is great visionary steve jobs is a great visionary all of you are familiar with iphone and steve jobs is a great visionary and another word is extraordinary extraordinary means unusual special something not routine it is not routine it is something special under those circumstances only extraordinary is used here union cabinet in its extraordinary meeting took a decision with regard to demonetization because demonetization is not routine thing it is totally extraordinary thing so here union cabinet in its extraordinary meeting took a decision with regard to demonetization similarly reliance jio has given free data for 3 more months so this is extraordinary meeting because it has got a lot of financial implications so under the circumstances this decision was taken so reliance jio in its extraordinary meeting took a decision to extend free data services for 3 more months so why he used these words here perhaps visionary as well in these days of uncertainty extraordinary global uncertainty that's why this is the present days are uncertainty days uncertain days you can say so in this time of extraordinary global uncertainty it's not usual it is not routine something extraordinary is going on in the world nowadays right so his message is perhaps visionary visionary means who is looking at the future things how they are going to unfold right so look at the next paragraph this is it is no surprise if and please remember after if there is one comma and again another comma after alliance two commas are there so two commas means normally it is giving some additional information right so please read the paragraph in such a perspective don't read throughout you will miss read the matter in between commas and again omit the matter in between commas then read then you will understand the passage so here it is no surprise if then there are two commas what is in between the commas as in the case of german chancellor angela merkel's potential leadership of the western alliance for western countries the way angela merkel has assumed the leadership it is similar to that the way angela merkel assumed leadership role for western alliance right so it is no surprise if questions have arisen you read like that then you will understand so in between commas is so as to give something extra or something comparative information some related information something which is comparable to the present instance that information is given here so omit the commas now read now it is no surprise if questions have arisen at this juncture about xi's willingness to take up cudgels on behalf of broader internationalism and against the rising tide of inward looking nationalism inward looking nationalism that means nationalism as such is not a bad word but nowadays the world is looking at inward looking nationalism i am great my country is great so under the present circumstance under the raising tide of inward looking nationalism raising tide let me explain this first before taking up the other word in the present day there is a raising tide of inward looking nationalism raising tide i would like to tell you about tide all of you are familiar with the tide in seas and oceans tide is nothing but rise and fall of the sea normally twice in a day that is tide then the other meaning is noticeable change in the situation or behavior noticeable change in the situation or behavior is called tide you see one example all of you are familiar with jellycatu 
once government permitted jellika to now there are rising tide of protests for kambala kambala is the race being held in coastal region of karnataka please don't forget now there are rising tide of protests for kambala similarly present era is raising tide of inward looking nationalism so this assumed significance in view of raising tide of inward looking nationalism it is no surprise if questions have arisen at this juncture about xis willingness to take up cudgels on behalf of broader internationalism broader internationalism is opposite to inward looking nationalism globalization has grown up with the concept of broader internationalism but nowadays people are talking about inward looking nationalism so under the present day era of raising tide of inward looking nationalism this has assumed a lot of significance so questions have arisen at this juncture at this moment about this willingness to take up cudgels on behalf of globalization questions have arisen at this juncture at this moment it is no surprise because western world is talking about protectionism and narrow minded nationalism when western world is talking about narrow minded nationalism and nativism normally globalization is the concept of western countries but now western countries are talking about something opposite so under the circumstances it is no surprise when xi jinping talks about or he has taken up the mantle for broader internationalism the meaning of this to take up the cudgels let us look at cudgel means it is a heavy stick used for hitting people if you look at the meaning of cudgel it is heavy stick used for hitting people but when you are using like this take up the cudgels take up the cudgels means to defend oneself strongly to defend some ideology strongly that is to take up the cudgels now xi jinping has taken up the cudgels in favor of globalization and donald trump has taken up the cudgels in favor of protectionism and marine le pen in france has taken up the cudgels in favor of nationalism right so here take up the cudgels means to defend strongly some idea when donald trump is taken up the cudgels for protectionism now xi jinping has taken up the cudgels for this globalization or broad industry, broad internationalism right so another word is there cudgel one's brain cudgel one's brain is to think hard about the problem and i give an example i have seen my classmate after 30 years i have seen my classmate after 30 years but i could not uh, recollect her name here i can write i cudgeled my brain to remember her name i thought of remembering her name but i could not because almost 30 years ago she was my classmate right so i cudgeled my brain to remember her name and take up the cudgels means to defend strongly that is take up the cudgels now let us come back it is xis willingness to take up the cudgels on behalf of broader internationalism because other side of the globe is talking about narrow mindedness right so it is no surprise under these circumstances look at the next one this is uh, next paragraph his address at the opening plenary plenary means this is uh, the session or you can say a meeting where all the members this is important meeting where all the members of that particular organization are present then only you have to call this plenary the example i have given the plenary session of un security council was held recently this is one example and his address at the opening plenary of world economic forum before captains of business captains of business and industry because world economic forum is uh, the group of people government heads will participate business leaders will participate industry leaders will participate and in front of uh, that uh, gathering his address at the opening plenary before captains of business and industry 
could not have been a more robust and reassuring defense of the current world economic order. What do you understand by this? Could not have been a more robust and reassuring defense of the current world economic order. So, here could not have been a more, more robust, the meaning is he defended strongly. So, his uh, talk in front of uh, the business leaders was uh, more was robust and reassuring defense of the current world economic order. So, he put forth his opinion strongly. So, here robust, robust we discussed previously also, robust means strong, healthy, unlikely to fail that is SBI is a robust organization, Indian economy is robust, robust means a strong healthy person you call robust organization also, similarly you call robust right. So, let us come back his address at the opening plenary before captains of business and industry could not have been a more robust and reassuring defense of the current world economic order right. So, here he spoke quite strongly that is the meaning of this sentence. Do not take it in the negative sense, several people will take in the negative sense because not is there right. If not is not there, if he had not spoken strongly then not will not be there, then it could have been could have been a yes, more robust. But now, he has uh, spoken strongly. So, that is why he is uh, supporting that. So, that is why he used the sentence in this way that uh, could not have been a more robust and reassuring defense of the current world economic order perceived to be at its most fragile in the post war era with the election of Donald Trump as the US president perceived to be at its most fragile in the post war era after second world war the present global economic order is perceived to be delicate it is fragile i would like to tell you the meaning of fragile fragile means it is delicate and which can be easily thrown out of gear which can easily be damaged the present global economic order became fragile right so fragile means this glass is quite fragile because if it uh, falls on ground it is easily broken. So, fragile actual meaning is that when you look at economy meaning for fragile that is hence uh, if you read correctly the present global economic order is perceived to be at its most fragile in the post war era why with the advent of Donald Trump as US president. So, under the circumstances he spoke strongly for the globalization right. So, this sentence you should understand clearly then the next sentence is foremost, foremost is that means most important, foremost is used to say that it is most important, foremost is Mr. Xin, Xinping's caution against attempts to prevent the free flow of goods, services, capital and people as running counter to the historical trend. So, foremost, foremost means most important, here he used, please look at this sentence, foremost is Mr. Xi Jinping's caution against attempts to prevent free flow of goods, services, capital and people. We have discussed free flow of goods, services, capital and people that is nothing but globalization. Now, Xi Jinping cautioned foremost, most important is Xi Jinping's caution against attempts. There are attempts being made to prevent that means to again erect barriers to prevent the free flow of goods, capital, services, people as running counter to the historical trend right. So, here counter means opposite to foremost as I have already told you, it is the most important or you can say the best quality education to all the citizens is the foremost priority. Then counter, counter has got two meanings, one meaning is bank counter, the second meaning is opposite meaning. Proliferation of arak shops near national highways 
is counter to road safety. Proliferation of arc shops near national highways is counter to road safety. So, counter is used to indicate opposite sense, right. So, look at the next sentence. It is tempting to interpret this remark that means Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping strongly put forth his opinion in favor of internationalism or you can say globalization in the present day era of protectionism. It is tempting to interpret this remark as a pointed rebuke to growing calls for economic protectionism at a time when a slump in world trade underpins slow economic growth. In the times of slump in world trade, world trade is under slump and basically world trade is in slump that is why economic growth is also not well. So, one is interrelated to the other I will explain it is tempting to interpret this remark as a pointed rebuke to growing calls for economic protectionism rebuke. What is the meaning of rebuke? Rebuke means to speak angrily rebuke this term is to be used only when someone has a spoken angrily with the disapproval of something. Here Xi Jinping has a spoken angrily with the disapproval of protectionism and I has given I have given one example here. Please go through it. One girl is there. She comes daily late to the college daily she comes late to the college. Under these circumstances, the girl received a stern rebuke from the principal as she is always late to the classes. Rebuke means that is speaking angrily with some disapproval. So, rebuke this is to be used when there is a strong disapproval and speaking angrily. Then the next word is slump. Slump means reduction in value or reduction in quality. Here the article is talking about slump in global trade. The slump in global trade, global trade is reduced in recent times. The growth is not satisfactory. There is a reduction in global trade, slump in global trade that means there is a reduction in the growth of global trade and it has got its own effect on economic growth because global trade underpins economic growth. What is the meaning of this? Global growth, global trade underpins economic growth. Here you should understand the meaning of underpinning. What is the meaning of underpinning? When strengthening the foundation is taking place that is underpinning. Underpinning is strengthening of existing building or strengthening of the foundation. This is a civil engineering word, this is underpinning. So, here the word used is underpin. Here global trade underpins global economy. Global trade underpins global economy. Underpins means basically to support something. Global trade supports global economy global trade supports global economy, global trade underpins global economy. But when there is global trade slump, when there is a slump in the global trade, when there is a slump in the global trade, it affects the global economy also. That is the meaning of the sentence. Various new products launched by Microsoft will support the company's recovery. Example I have given here for underpin. Underpin means to support something, to provide as a starting point for something to take off that is underpin. Normally global trade, global trade underpins global economy, but here there is a slump in global trade that is why global growth will be affected. That is the meaning of this sentence. Please go through it once again, this paragraph. It is tempting to interpret this remark as a pointed rebuke. That means, it is a angry disapproval by Xi Jinping 
for growing the calls of economic protectionism at a time, the time is not good at a time when you slump in world trade, world trade is not going on the expected lines. There is a slowdown in growth when you slump in world trade underpins slow economic growth. Because of slump, economic growth is slow because this world trade underpins economic growth. World trade acts as growth driver for economies, underpins is the meaning of this. Right? Look at the next paragraph. The next paragraph is not to be missed. You should not miss this point also, not to be missed also is the categorical support. What is the meaning of categorical? His categorical statement means without an iota of doubt, clear statement without an iota of doubt. So, not to be missed also is the categorical support he expressed for the swift enforcement of Paris climate deal. Not to be missed that means, Xi Jinping has supported Paris climate deal also categorical statement without doubt and swift enforcement, enforcement in a fast way as fast as possible because this is human significance because of the reason Donald Trump said that Paris climate pact is useless. Donald Trump said that Paris climate pact is useless. Under the circumstances, this statement also assumed significance. Mr. Xi reiterated, reiterated what is the meaning? Telling once again, tells, telling several times that is reiteration, not first time. Reiteration means telling several times is reiteration. So, these words please understand categorical means without doubt the categorical statement on all the aspects of remonetization is the need of the hour from RBI governor Urjit Patel. Categorical statement without any possibility of doubt that is required. He is not giving that statement. So, categorical means without doubt, swiftly, fast, without delay. I told you swift means very short time acting fast. Then the next one is reiterate, reiterate means telling the same thing several times. So, the prime minister reiterated several times that the government's goal is to see corruption free India, reiteration of something. So, here these three words are very important, not to be missed also is the categorical support without doubt that he expressed for the swift enforcement of Paris, Paris Accord on climate change, Mr. Xi reiterated told once again the call for reform of global economic governance structures, global economic governance structures. What is the global economic governance structure? Strictly speaking, it is the world trade organization. At the same time, when the global economy, if you look at investments side, IMF, World Bank, these are also global economic governance structures. So, he is calling for reform, reform of global economic governance structures because they are dominated by western countries to reflect the contribution of the emerging and developing countries. They are not reflecting at present the contribution of emerging countries like India and China. So, he reiterated for reform and reforming world trade organization, international monetary fund like organizations. Right? So, please understand carefully, lot many words are here, his plea, what is the meaning of plea? Plea means, it is basically urgent and emotional request. I gave one example, Obama had made emotional plea, emotional plea, emotional request several times to stop racism and also to put an end to gun culture. Right? So, this is the meaning of plea and his plea for more inclusive representation, his plea for more inclusive representation, inclusive, what is the meaning of inclusive representation? It should represent all the sections of society or all the types of economies, developed world, developing world, underdeveloped world, it should reflect that true present day true things of world economy or you can say present day economies, it should reflect, right. His plea 
for more inclusive representation is in contrast to the unprecedented attacks mounted against post war institutions in the countries that crafted their original architecture. Here please understand this statement, the countries that crafted their original architecture, who crafted these institutions? These institutions, these institutions are the brainchild of western countries. Western countries has crafted the architecture for these institutions. Now they are being questioned. Now, this post war institutions are being questioned with unprecedented attacks, with unprecedented attacks, right. So, here his plea for more uh, inclusiveness is in contrast to the contrast means there is a difference between two or more things. When there is a difference, that is a contrast. Then the next word is unprecedented. Unprecedented means for the first time it never happened and it never existed in the past. Under those circumstances you have to use unprecedented. Please understand this word is to be used when something happened for the first time. When something happened for the first time you have to use unprecedented. The hallmark of 21st century is unprecedented rise in global temperatures, right. So, unprecedented is to be used when something never happened under those circumstances. So, here if you look at this paragraph, here his plea for more inclusive representation is in contrast to the unprecedented attacks. Who are making attacks? Attacks are made by western countries. Western countries developed these institutions, World Trade Organization, IMF, these institutions are developed by World Trade Organization, sorry, these institutions are developed by Western countries and they are questioning these institutions, these are unprecedented attacks, right. So, that is why he used unprecedented attacks. Look into the next sentence, the next sentence is this one, Mr. Xi fundamentally rejected the stance, the stance means the theory you can say, stance means here particular way of thinking about something. Mr. Xi rejected the stance or you can say rejected the theory, right. One example I have given, the government took tough stance against terrorism, right. So, here Mr. Xi fundamentally rejected the stance that seeks to lay the blame for the current challenges at the doorstep of globalization. Mr. Xi rejected the theory that seeks to lay the blame for current challenges at the doorstep of globalization. In his opinion, the present challenges are not because of globalization. The tragic effects, tragic all of you are familiar with the tragic, tragic means untold suffering and so it involves some deaths. Under those circumstances, you have to use tragic. The tragic effects of mass migration, he said, have their roots in the recent wars and regional conflicts rather than in economic globalization. The present problems of the world are not due to globalization. The tragic effects of mass migration have got their roots in regional conflicts like the conflict in Syria, conflict in Afghanistan, conflict in Libya, conflict in Sudan like that, right. So, this is what he would like to say, what he had said. His diagnosis of Europe's challenges on this front could not entirely be faulted, even if it is largely true that the developing countries have reaped most of the benefits of economic mobility rather than having to deal with the difficulties of immigration. It is also true that developing countries like China or India benefited most of the benefits of this globalization or you can say benefits of economic mobility have reaped most of the benefits rather than having to deal with the difficulties of immigration. So, India, China, they are not feeling the pinch of this immigration rather than having to deal with the difficulties of immigration. So, India, China, these developing countries have benefited a lot in comparison to the problems associated with immigration.
right in this context he used the sentence reap reap means there are two meanings one is this collecting the grains is reaping that is rooftop farmers reaped a rich harvest and another meaning is the shareholders reaped the benefits of boom in it stocks reaped means to make large amount of money in that context also we can use look at the next paragraph there may be arguments over the modes and methods of managing the political fallout from globalization right so there may be arguments there can be arguments over the modes and the methods of managing the political fallout from globalization fallout what is the meaning of fallout fallout means bad things that happen after a particular event 2008 financial crisis all of you are familiar with that and this sentence talks about that the fallout of the global crisis is being prolonged across the world so fallout means something that happen after a particular event so here there may be arguments over the modes and methods of managing the political fallout from globalization but there is no denying the mounting and demonstrable evidence that the post cold war era of open economies has brought unprecedented prosperity and income redistribution around the world there is political debate is going on there are arguments over the modes and methods of managing the political fallout of globalization but it is a fact there is no denying the fact that means it is a fact that mounting and demonstrable evidence there is evidence which is available in front of us which can be proved in front of us with that available evidence it is undoubtedly proven it is undoubtedly proved that the cold war era post cold war era that means after 1991 of open economies has brought unprecedented prosperity i told you the meaning of unprecedented never seen in history for the first time so after 1991 globalization has brought lot of prosperity and income redistribution across the world this is undisputable this is as per the available facts right so the political fallout of globalization is a debatable point but the point which comes to the point which comes with the facts is this post cold war era of open economies has brought unprecedented prosperity that means which was never seen in the history unprecedented prosperity and income redistribution across the world mr gzis case for globalization is the most forceful statement by a chinese leader at as i have already told you in the beginning china benefited because of globalization now only xi jinping is talking about the aspect of globalization right because now western countries are trying to desert globalization now china being benefited a lot because of globalization has taken up the cudgels for shouldering the responsibility of propagating globalization that is all about this article right if you look at the next i told you about mounting mounting means gradually increasing he used mounting and demonstrable evidence mounting and demonstrable evidence mounting means gradually increasing the evidence is increasing and it is available to us and demonstrable that means which is able to be proved right so the available evidence is in front of us because of available evidence we can say straight away this globalization benefited several sections of society across the world then for long beijing has been accused of not taking on the burdens of leadership role commensurate with its economic and strategic power for long that means for for the last 20 30 years or you can say last 10 15 years for long beijing has been accused it is being pointed out of not taking on the burdens of leadership role i have already told you till date western world was speaking about globalization 
western institutions western promoted institutions like world bank imf world trade organization they were speaking about globalization now those institutions are being questioned in the western world and under the circumstances xi jinping for the first time hinted that he is going to take the leadership role for globalization so that is the meaning of this for long beijing has been accused of not taking on the burdens of leadership role commensurate with its economic and strategic power commensurate commensurate means its economic and strategic power is quite high and china till date is not taking the responsibility of talking about globalization so so china's role till date china is not talking about china's talk is not commensurate with its clout commensurate commensurate means correct and suitable right for particular occasion in some particular instance commensurate means it should be correct it should be according to the situation needed according to the need it should be there then only you have to use commensurate here the salary must be commensurate with skills and experience the salary must be commensurate with the skills and experience right so here so far china is not taking up the aspect of globalization in commensurate with its economic and strategic power i am talking about talking in open forums right the changing world order changing world order might have may have left it with no option there is no option at this juncture because western world is deserting globalization now somebody should be there to talk about it who will speak china must speak because china benefited a lot because of globalization so that is all about this passage so here the changing world order may have left it with no option but to step into the podium step up to the podium step up to the podium what is the meaning now step up to the podium means china has to take the leadership role and talk about globalization that means step up to the podium the meaning is it has to take the leadership role who will go to the podium people who go to the podium is normally the leader so that is the meaning of step up to the podium it also turns the mirror on beijing demanding of it a lot more action to back its own words it also turns the mirror on beijing it also turns he is spe speaking about globalization so it also turns the mirror on china demanding of it a lot more action to back its own words so a lot more action not only words lot more action is also required to keep up the true spirit of globalization and china sometimes resorts to currency devaluation and china should not resort to currency devaluation in future because so as to reflect in true letter and spirit in comparison with the words spoken by xi jinping china should reflect in action also the words must reflect its actions in true letter and spirit and unnecessarily devaluation of currency should not be undertaken by china with a view to propagate their exports right friends this is all about this passage quite a long editorial in the hindu and on friday we will discuss this letter and spirit this article is about rti act and this will be on friday tomorrow they will not be there will not be any session and we will meet once again on friday at 12 noon and have a nice day thank you